Hey everybody, it's Angie, and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Now, I have a question for you. When I was a kid, I used to watch a TV show called Romper Room. Did anybody else have Romper Room where they were? I'm not sure if it was local. I grew up outside of Chicago. If you watched Romper Room, do you remember? It was set up like a classroom with you know a bunch of little preschoolers and stuff. And the teacher, Miss Barbara, I think it was, had this magic mirror that she would hold up. She would hold up her magic mirror and she'd be like, I see Bobby, and I see Susie, and I see Nisha, and I see Jan, I see Kristen and Tony, I see, you know, Jack and Jill, and she would just name all these names, and you would feel like she was talking right to you, and sometimes when I'm recording videos, I feel like Miss Barbara, and I'm talking to, you know, my friends out there on YouTube who have been so great watching my videos and commenting with lovely comments and so um, this is just kind of my shout out to you uh, to say thank you for watching so on to today's video today i just wanted to show you a package that i just received from hot look a laura geller package that contained balance and brighten so i just wanted to show you the package i just received it uh, yesterday I have used the products today so you can see what they look like on um, and here's my nice little bag that it came in but this was a set that I think was $39 so $40 and you it's called their lightness of beauty package and it contained I'll just show you the picture quickly all of these items so there's a blush an eye pencil balance and brighten there's a lip gloss and there is an eyeshadow quad. All right, so all that for 40 bucks, where I think normally the Balance and Brighten alone is probably $30. So I thought this was a good deal and I've been wanting to try Laura Geller products because um, you lovely people, my viewers, are always telling me how great Balance and Brighten is. And the day that this was on sale, Emily Noel 83 had tweeted that Hot Look had the sale and so that's why I found out about it. Otherwise, I didn't really wasn't really checking my email that day and I wouldn't have known and I would have um, probably missed out on it. But I got this in the third color. I think it's called regular um, because the second color, the fair, was already sold out, but I tend to be a little darker than than fair, so that's why I went for this one. I thought it would still be a good match for me. The one that I was most excited to get is the Balance and Brighten, and here's what it looks like. And this is in an SPF of 15. Okay, uh, this is a lovely powder that a lot of people use in lieu of mineral makeup. So whatever makeup they use, um, you know, whether it's drugstore or high-end foundation, then they do a dusting of this Balance and Brighten over the top. And as you can see, it's a powder that is swirled full of different um, colors. And what it's supposed to do is just basically sort of um, you know, balance out your skin tone and brighten you up a little bit. So this is lovely. It's a very nice soft powder. I'm just going to do a little rub and swatch on my finger for you. So it's just kind of a neutral, light, tannish color. This is completely matte. It doesn't have any sparkle or shimmer in it. So it's great for you know, putting over your T-zone if you have an oily T-zone. And this one is a pretty good color on me. I think I look, um, you know, my color. I think the lighter one probably would have been too light on me, so so that's good. So I dusted that over the top of what I have on for foundation today, which is something else that I'm testing out. Um, and it's a Shiseido product, and it's their um, tinted sunscreen. So we will see how that goes. If I like it today, I might do a review. If I don't like it, I probably won't ever mention it again because I'm tired of not liking things. All right, so um, the next product was this lovely giant tube of lip, <laughs> lip gloss, Air Whipped Lip Wear. Lush, lightweight, superior coverage. This is in Praline Mousse. Okay, and this I actually really like. It's a little more sun-kissed um, rust color than I usually wear. I usually wear something a little more mauve but um, this is nice. I really like it. Just put a nice swatch of it on the back of my hand for you. So that's the color. It's really a nice color, especially if you... It's sort of a, between a mauve and a rust, 
so it's lovely. I have it on, but I have been talking a lot. I did another video before this, so let me just reapply it. It's got a nice shimmer, and the lip feel is really very nice. I gotta say, I don't really buy lip glosses with these little doe foot applicators because 90% of them are too sticky and gooey for me and I cannot stand that sticky gooey feeling my you know with my long hair I go outside and the wind blows and I've got hair stuck to it and uh, I just don't like how it feels I find that they don't last as long so this has actually lasted quite a bit I put it on uh, probably about two or three hours ago and then I made a couple of videos so like I said I've been talking a lot so it, it has lasted. I think it has a little bit of a scent. Yeah, it has a little bit of like a cotton candy-ish scent, um, but very, very subtle. You know, I don't like scented things, so this is very subtle. I This I wouldn't really mind if it, you know, if I get a whiff of it, it's not bad. Um, but yeah, I do like this color quite a bit. It's, it's um, a little darker than a nude, but it kind of has a golden shimmer over the top that brings it more back into the into the nude without being totally nude so so this is terrific so so far i think my 40 bucks was well spent because i got two good products out of it the eyeliner this is their eye care waterproof eyeliner in the color charcoal and this is a mechanical pencil so there it is it has the little smudger at one end and the color at the other end which you just twist and it comes out so no sharpening and this there is the swatch of the eyeliner it really is a very very dark gray bordering on black and I'm wearing it on my eyes so I have my um, lower lid and above my lashes lined in it today uh, I also wore it yesterday and I gotta say the staying power on this stuff is amazing I had put a little mark on my hand yesterday when I first got it and that was maybe about uh, four in the afternoon then I you know cooked dinner wash my hands multiple times with soap um, moisturized my hands last night did my whole face cleaning routine last night moisturized my hands took my shower this morning you know washed again did all my stuff there was still a mark on the back of my hand from where I had put it so when they say waterproof on this they really mean it so this when you put it on it is going to stay all day it's not going anywhere it's not leaking down my face with my watery eyes so this for me is a terrific product I'm not sure how much it retails for separately but it's great um, okay and the brush that came with it to go with the balance and brighten is a, a lovely brush a tractable baked powder brush okay so you pull off the lid and then it's just in there now this is really soft fluffy and it's not too densely packed so it doesn't really pack on the powder because with that powder you just need a light dusting over the surface of your face and then when you want to put it in so that you don't crush the bristles this is great for traveling you just pull this up and it squeezes the brush all together so that you can then put the lid on without damaging the bristles so that is terrific and that is going in my my regular makeup bag and my travel kit I'll be bringing that with me everywhere I go this is the blush this is the air whipped blush in whisper mulberry here's the packaging and that's my only other problem with this packaging is that it's big like okay you get a lot but this is going to take up a lot of real estate in my makeup drawer but that's fine so it has this little plastic cover and it wants you to keep that plastic cover on so you take it off to get some and then you put it back on so I've just been using it off the cover but here's what the product looks like and let me just swatch it for you so it is I'm trying to peek through my fingers this right here this is the blush on me today um, my only problem with it is that I think it's a little dark for me but I gotta say in the summer I don't tan on purpose but I am out gardening and in the sun a lot and even though I wear an SPF 70 I do get a little color on my face and so I think in the summer that'll be terrific and I also am loving cream blushes because you know there's so much less drying and one less layer of um, 
you know, powder on your face is always a good thing. So this is nice. It doesn't have any sparkle, uh, which is also great. And, um, and it really blends very nicely. All right. And then the last product that I got. All right. So this is called Eye Elements Baked Shadow and Highlighter, and it's in the color Amethyst Skies. Now this is a lovely little quad. It has three eyeshadows and one highlighter. So this one at the bottom is the highlighter and the three at the top are the eyeshadows. Now this one's very shimmery and even though these two um, look sort of shimmery and light reflective, they actually are not that shimmery so they can be used above the crease. All right, so the way I used these three today is I used um, the highlighter on my cheekbones and above my, uh, above below my eyebrows. I used the lightest shade of purple on my lid and then I used the medium shade of purple um, a little bit higher on the crease along with some other colors that weren't in here, some, you know, taupes and browns just to blend it in. I did not use the darkest color today because that just seemed um, a little too dark for my look today. So, um, but it is a beautiful color. And so here's what the eye makeup looks like. The color payoff is terrific. Um, they're really very nice and soft. They blend well. So all in all, this is a great bunch of products. So that was my Laura Geller, The Lightness of Beauty, six piece collection from Hot Look. So um, that's it. Thanks for watching today, and as always, take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.